Radio.tv For giving me this opportunity to share. And I will say that uh, it is a very exciting day for me. A very exciting moment. And a moment that I believe it's the making of history. That I'm sitting behind, in front of you, and I'm having people sit, sitting behind this camera and asking me questions in the name of Kakanda Television. Mashallah. It is a history making moment. And I congratulate you all for making this happen. Because, of course, any nation, any people that want to make an impact, that want to grow, that want to be a force to reckon with, has to have a media presence. They have to have a technological footprint and they have to be out there in the world. And the best way to do that is to deploy the kind of technological equipment and access that you gentlemen are doing. So I say well done, I say thank you, and I say congratulations for giving birth to the Kakanda television. And I say thank you for giving me the opportunity to share. Well, um, my name is Jumai Umarajijala to the world today. However, I'm Jumai Umarasanda Amadu. <laughs> and yes, I am Kakanda, and I'm proudly so. To just show how much Kakanda I am, I just got honored by the Amana of Mwe as the Jakadia of Mwe. Although some people have fondly called me, I know the Minister of um, State for FCT has said her big sister, Dr. Juma, is the Minister of, is the Jakadia of Kakanda Nation. So that's an exciting thing that has come up and it absolutely shows the way to go for Kakanda people if you talk about unity. Whether you are the Jakadia of Muye or you are the Jakadia of Ataji or the Jakadia of Girian or the, the Jakadia of Apata or wherever or the Jakadia of Buddha Wherever you are, Jakadia, you are Jakadia of Kakandas. And that's how I see myself. And that should be how we reflect and present ourselves to the world. Because a group of people that do not stand in unity amongst themselves would not prosper. And that is my story. My story is intricately tied to the story of my people and that whatever successes or whatever achievements or no matter how far I have come today integrally you would look at it as a Kakanda story. So Ahmed has started by saying that today I'm the Chief Grand Visioner for the Business People Limited, a very dynamic and 21st century oriented and focused consultancy firm that is seeking to take the world by storm. We are taking Nigeria by storm. We're working on West Africa, but our playing field is actually the world. And I'm particularly excited that, yes, we're Nigerians, but I'm also excited that a Kakanda person, a Kakanda woman, is leading that giant stride. So we do have a lot to be proud of, amongst many other things, as Kakanda people. And I also epitomize the Kakanda woman because we have a lot of very successful Kakanda women. And that is because education has always been important to the Kakanda people. And as far back as when the women, men were going to school, our parents were sending the women to school as well. So yes, today I have a PhD in public administration and policy analysis. The first Kakanda woman to get a PhD, I must say, I was told. And actually the second in the whole Nupe land, I was told that by someone from Niger State. that I 
was probably the second. Initially, they said first, but I also know that our mother, Amina Ndalulu, got her PhD before me. So I happened to be the second woman in the Nupi larger Nupi community to get a PhD. And that a Makakanda woman is also something worthy of humiliation. Amongst, I think, the, f the ninth or fourth, some people who say, largest ethnic group in Nigeria. So it's something Kakanda people should be proud of. But like I said, education has been something that we're always known for, whether male or female, amongst the Kakanda people. And Kakanda, I believe, is a community that we don't see um, women and men are treated equitably. And the successes of our nation is intrinsically linked by what the women and men have done traditionally. If you look at our history of being the, trans the providers of transport, along the river Niger and Benue in Nigeria. Men and women have their roles that they both played in the great Mwabara. Iwani be pana, imaba pawa na chima, awai, be ba, ebu, nea gaga, gagene, naka jaikinama, eba be manjaga, kunyei, kashigaga, shinyei, Kashijala, <laughs> along that river, Niger, Belt, no? and we made the things happen. So along with the river Niger, Kakanda people are known to be the great providers of transportation. And you know, for any economy to succeed, transportation is one of the backbones. It means that we have always played a very strong role in the development of our nation. And that also has been possible because Kakanda people are really hardworking, but also a united group. So if, if we look at all these things and that history, Nigerians' history will not be complete without mentioning Kakanda people, then what has happened to us today? What has become of all these great people is part of the fact that we are really, really, and I say it very proudly, very well-educated people. My father was known as, in our nation then, he was nicknamed after some of the great people, in particular um, Tafa Abaliwa being the voice of Africa. Then when my father spoke, everybody wanted to hear what he had to say, Dr. Morisanda Amadou. Because he, he was a sound person, but also had the command of the English language maybe better than some of the English people themselves. And we were players in the North in decision making. The people like the Makaman who paid in, in the cabinet of um, the Sadona recognized and appreciated what Kakanda did and the strategic role we played in moving the Nupi nation forward. We, 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 we were always invited to the table and we had things to say, we had roles to play, which is why we have Kakanda people at the level that we are today. But having said that, there was, there, one would argue that there's so few of us doing what we should be doing. Why has that happened? I would say it's because somewhere along the line, we were were not working as hard and as together as we needed to. However, that 
also is becoming a thing of the past because different organizations were working towards the unity and progress and development of the Kakanda nation. But also about three years ago, another organization called the Manima Foundation was birthed. And the Manima Foundation from the beginning had the great visionaries of our nation as part of it. I, I, I am proud to say that some of the very dynamic leaders of the Kakanda nation that we have today have all been a part of the development and evolution of the Kakanda Monima Foundation. If we start from the Agankyo of Kakanda, before he became the Agankyo and now even as a, Gankyo, as a royal father, he had a very key role in playing, in supporting the evolution, the involvement, the development of the Monima Foundation. And I remember, with, I remember with fond memories our maiden congress in Lokoja where the Amana of Moye spoke eloquently at that congress about why the need for organizations like Monimo Foundation. But most importantly, Monimo Foundation and all other organizations that have the interest and the pride of Kakanda at heart wherever we may be we have to work more collaboratively together to ensure that um, the successes that we are recording are consolidated and translate into meaningful development sustainable development as a nation we have to key into things like the sustainable development goals and in our own ways help in the achievement of the sustainable development goals when the story is being told of how nigeria achieved all the 17 sustainable development goals as kakanda people we should be part of that story we should be mentioned and we can only do that if we play our parts in ensuring that development reaches the ground roots in ensuring our path that development reaches women, the young people, the girl child, the vulnerable groups, the people living with disability, the people without access to technology, because technology is we're in the 21st century, and the technology, if we're not careful in harnessing and leveraging it, will be a source of exclusion but we want inclusion and for inclusion to happen we have to carry our people along especially those of us that happen to be in the forefront in the frontier of ensuring that the 21st century that is known as the knowledge economy if you wish the information age or is it the age of the artificial intelligence or oh, is it what what name it is there is it the age of the big data it's endless but whatever it is whatever it means to us whatever the world defines it, my task and my commitment is that i will work with all kakanda people with the resources that i have to ensure that whatever the 21st century is the kakanda people will ensure that we make it happen for our people but also for our nations. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. You know what you know again money the IAY grow the make progress emi ama wa yi ba gija buka yi buka ni me mani iyu ba ni fo ja pa imuna agala po yu na itun ba ni fo ja ji pa se ni agala ibituna iyen ni ba ni fo ni agagina ja ja gire ni ni agala gina 
nyama ga wo tin wa ipe iyo yere ni fun na ga la ni tin wa igin possible na ko ni ja ya je ga ka ile mi ile mi to te ma je ile mi to le ile mi bi ga ka ni je bi ba tun e ku ga la ga je na na ji ile mi ni ga la fadu ni je tin na ni anabi mi rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ni ma ni o ba na ka inje fi o be ka ti o be ju mo na o mo o ba na ka la ni ro be ka ti o ga o ga retreat that thing che che ju ju na so mo be i ka a baba a ba fu e mo ba je ta yo ase e ma ga se adi ka ile ni ko e mi ya ko in zo abi ama ama ni o ba la bi emi amo tun kan makanta de ti ba ile ni ti nje kere ba ile mi na ama e ba be nzo abi aere na chi so pa mi ko ba ile mi e gin je ma yen gija apoyo pa ni emi a ko bi emi nzo abi na emi a ko ma bi emi mi a emi a ma ba bi mo ni lele ni ba ni fona ni ba kamata jagi mani je bi na chi je na ko je sa je ja wangi na ni gagi al umma wa ite mo ko na emi ana ti ba ki gagi ko gi ko mo ba ki kai abo ba be mi ama mo nje nzo abi ni ni lele ni ba ki ona e bi emi a ko ga ti pe yu mi balaye don e mo ba je tayo ni ebe mi ati ni ga gi ni ga je pa se ni ga la sadije je te ile mi ko e ga ka ta ni in de ti ti na i ba ga makanta mo ni mo ti ni ba lai tun ga makanta be ti ge ni gida se e ga ni eju ni lai to ni je fin cheche na ibe to fo ma ni ma ki minister mi emi ai ni eno ko ma nare ni tin ka kan da kere to ti ma ni pe wa kere emi ai ni ama la je minister enki ja je je minister nare pamni ilimine kamata je ba na enje ni enji doctor so ai ni ni mi ya no ai da ga mi wo doctor ni wo ye kai bi am ko doctor nana amani fo ba ya chef we e ga lele no ba ga ni je no ba ya bo mi people i want to the doctor nana e bi am why na aye nu ai ma pamne e ga ni na gi tun na ni ego na ti wa e be kere ile ko eni so iya mi wa yi emi a a a iya ni ma yi wa yi na ani wa yi si atana e bi ami wa ikere o ba nji bi ni la itunga makanta ja ga ba ile ni ko ko ni ma nji ile me chi ni ma na wallahi ka ka ile ni e yi ko ma chi chi na bo we chi ni ma si pa gitu na ni meki ama 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 ni aya be gi ru ko chi ji ile mi na ma ko alile no ba ni na o bi ka ka ile ni e ko yi ka bo yi ka fadu ni money mo foundation ni ni akeju ai be ma ya ki ti jail tin na mi agbalagba mi wa yin ni ba ile mi na chi na na sara e ma na i ga ke ni ga giji i ko gi ya ki ti jail tin ni ko eso bi oni ko agbalagba oni jo ko ko da kokure ni jo ba ile mi na chi so ji kaka nda wa ite ja ji to gani na ka ji na ba je ju ni ji lai kan na mani hadith ni poni po na ja mani o be so mani a a e ju nu ka ki je nbe cho ga o ga ga yi lo mo de ti mani mm mm a mani e ju nu man ta shin te ma ke ka ji yan ni na ka na je ju nje ki ti 
i ka ga tim kaka da gajiti budana amma ne ana kanka eni ani ritayo it's not acceptable it's not possible amma you na chiwai kire ji agipa ji ga kai le mi i ma be i ba na kai le mi ile mi na chi ji in so abiwai to emi awai li ba ja ga makanta yi li ba ja je tani yi na ja ga yi mani ani na ka na ne ro e ki ma je ji sa oration and sharing is the best way to go also know that all of these things put together if you do not have the right attitude you're not going to go anywhere in a hurry attitude is the only word if you spell in numbers that gives you 100 the only word in english language if you spell attitude in numbers gives you 100 there is something to that word so you want to succeed have the right attitude as the young people have the right attitude towards your elders have the right attitude towards your community have the right attitude towards learning have the right attitude towards work have the right attitude towards your creator and we have no doubt that not only will you lead the kakande nation but you will lead nigeria and you will rule the world that's the stuff kakanda people are made of and that is the stuff that we see and expect of you all thank you so kakanda tv is our own tv and all of us is our responsibility to promote it so we have to go and subscribe to kakanda tv we have to like all the kakanda tv production we have to sell and market kakanda tv we have to get advertisements for kakanda tv and we have to support our young people that are committing to kakanda tv and i'm starting with myself that i have so declared myself a patron of the kakanda tv and wow. i shall so promote the activities of kakanda tv and i challenge all of us kakandas from all over the world to do that and based on that i'm actually challenging my colleagues starting with our managing director ahmed ogushola that you must subscribe to kakanda tv and pay your dues promptly so kakanda wai go kakanda tv and wa go kakanda tv new kakanda tv o ba nwe yi jo gete moko je juni je jai sai Up Kakanda TV, up Kakanda people.